Will graphic graffiti on potholes get the city of Portland to finally fix the problem? Well, some people sure hope so. They noticed what they say is obscene images painted over the holes near 67th and Pacific in Northeast Portland. Coin wants to know if this is activism, maybe it's vandalism, or is it something else? Our Jennifer Dowling joins us now with more on these images. Jen? Well, Jennifer, we found at least three markings in about a three block radius, and some residents we talked to weren't quite sure what they were looking at on their neighborhood streets, although others were sure someone was making a point. Well, it's certainly attention getting. <laughs> this paint outlining potholes and bumps in the road near 67th and Pacific looks a little phallic to some neighbors. It does look a little Hmm, interesting. Debbie Bain thinks the graffiti artist struck in the middle of the night. In Sunday night it was not there. I got up Monday morning and saw it. Some thought the artist may have been a bit off in their renderings. What do you think of the pothole? <laughs> it's pretty hilarious, really. I mean, it, it, it really just kind of looks like a flower, you're right. But if you stand the right, stand the right place, hmm get the gist of what he's trying to uh, go for there. Painting potholes and even planting flowers in them has been done in other cities to try and speed up repairs. We reached out to Portland's Bureau of Transportation. They say it's far more productive for people to report potholes to the city hotline. Is there a pothole problem around here? Uh, yeah, it's a little dicey, uh, for, depending on the street. As for marking the potholes, a transportation official says they want people to respect public property and to know graffiti like this impacts the livability of neighborhoods. So it could be riding the line between art and graffiti. If it gets the job done, I mean, this isn't harming anybody really, so it might be worth giving it a shot. It's just another interesting fact in our weird Portland. Now we asked if Portland's Bureau of Transportation was going to clear the graphic graffiti by filling in those potholes. And spokesperson Diane Dalkin said our dispatch hotline is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we welcome people's calls to report a pothole or other road hazard. And we act on those requests. We'll post that hotline on our website at coin.com. Yeah, keep us posted here, Jennifer. Now, new